What does an average day look like for both of you, if there is such a thing? Alex, how about we start with you? Uh, I've no idea. I look forward to finding out. I can tell you what happened today. Um, okay. So, um, got into the office around about 8.30, looked at some copy for our annual reports, um, trying to get a bit more personality into that. Then caught up with some designs for uh, um, production that's going to hit the stages in 2016-17. First draft of it we weren't so um, happy about, so to see how that had developed. And then I grabbed um, some lunch, walked around the place to see how um, the post weekend setup was going, uh, then cycled up to um, King's Cross for a session with our architects. We were working on a big uh, building project called Open Up, went through that for a couple of hours, um, came back. Um, picked up one or two things to do with the Finance and Operations Committee meeting which we've got happening on Thursday. Um, so I have a quick look at the questions that are being posed for this evening so it's not completely <laughs> off the top of the head start. <laughs> and then uh, legged it down here. Um, All in one day. I'm just what's going on tomorrow, I'll find out. I'm just happy you had time for lunch, that makes me happy. Um, and mine, what about you? I think I read an interview that sometimes people are surprised you don't roll in late, read a book in the library for a bit, go off and play some golf somewhere, and I imagine it's entirely different to that. As I said it several times, and good evening, great to be here. Um, I said it several times when I wrote, uh, it was in Germany, German TV, people from TV shadowed me for one day. I think that always the same impression, I mean, this is kind of stereotype thing that they expect you to come late, you go, I mean, probably first to your office, then to the library, you read in a book, you have a very long lunch. Um, you go back to the library and then to the golf club. And that's it. <laughs> Actually, it's a, I think our life is somewhat different. I, I, I don't know if I would have chosen that job if I would have known 30 years ago that it's really this kind of intensive life. Um, I try to get up quite early because I want to have a bit time for myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, not reading, more like bank account or something like that. <laughs> um, then uh, insurance companies. Um, this morning, just to take the same day, I just try to remember. 8.30, meeting for breakfast, the head of marketing of Volkswagen, went back to the office, had several meetings, regular meetings. There are a lot of regular meetings in the UK. Um, this is, <laughs> this is something I'm actually not used to, this kind of ongoing meeting and minutes and ongoing meeting and minutes. And Alex, do you have time to read all those minutes or do you have time to read <laughs> Somebody get regret. I mean, at the beginning I really tried to read everything. And then somebody said, just take this mark, and, you know, I think a few you marks, and, random, and yeah. then it looks like <laughs> um, So a few regular meetings. Um, met another another um, potential sponsor around midday. When came back to meet the daughter of the president of Azerbaijan. Um, another few regular meetings. Then the head of LLDC. We work with LLDC for our new development in East London. Just in case we want to talk about that a little bit later. No, yeah. Uh, so it sounds not so much. <laughs> kind of easy there, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 